seven inch. See, and then you're measuring from from here to here. Okay. An eighth of an inch is 125 thousandths. So that's a little bit under. Now, you can go to the little Browning manual they have, the little mechanical manual, yeah. and they'll explain how to use this. Okay. How important it is to use it, but they end up summing up the whole thing that an experienced mechanic would be able to do it by feet. Okay. So they cover all their bases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I've got an access, uh, I've got a reference mark right there. It's okay. kind of parallel to that, so you like line up the, the edge of that belt with that reference mark. And you just kind of push it. The belt and the reference mark are even, and I push this until my o ring comes to the reference mark. Whoops, didn't reset that. read on this what it's set for so it's like 4.6 pounds oh well it's like at five and a half so that one's a little tight but anyway that's how you mm -hmm. use one of these okay and to put on this belt I'd, I'd like you to go ahead and, and loosen loosen this stuff up mm -hmm. and I have these here marked okay so if you if you loosen both of these nuts evenly, like uh, maybe uh, go three or four turns on the flat. Mm -hmm. So you. Well, anyway, if you you take mm -hmm. these off evenly, then you should be able to jack it back that way when you loosen up this other stuff. Yeah. Or actually, you have to push it that way to loosen it. So you'll just be loosening this up, and you don't have to worry about that because this will mark. That'll keep everything parallel and straight. Okay. And uh, typically, uh, a lot of times, you'll just roll the belt off and pop on a new one. Now, since we got lots of time here and we're not in a big hurry, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna loosen up the thing so the belt comes off and on easily. Okay. Instead of having to pop it off with a lot of force. Mm -hmm. Which works too. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. And I do not have on here how many squirts of grease this gets. Now that's, I think it gets about uh, 0.15. So we'll be putting uh, six quarts of grease in these bearings. Okay, so what the 4.6 pounds and the 0.1 inch? Yeah, okay, see so okay. this, is, this is set at 0 0.1 here. 0 0.1 is, is and that should be the approximate distance we have here. Mm -hmm. And then the pounds we read here. Okay. So, Lining up here, and my reference mark is here. Mm -hmm. So first I line up the belt with the reference mark, and I can see that, then I'm going to push there. And the reference mark's going to stay there, and the belt's going to move. And then I line up my O-ring with the reference mark. And then, I don't think I reset that. It works best with dual belts because mm -hmm. then your other belt. Yeah. yeah. But so if you look there. You so when you're see. doing it, are you trying to get this to the 4.6? Basically, yeah. And okay. we can see on that one that it's. Okay. Uh, so so you got this set at the 4.6, and you just well, push it in. Well, this, this tells you what your what it is. Oh, okay. This is what you're setting to. Mm -hmm. You push on this, and then it. And then when you release mm -hmm. it, you see how many pounds it mm -hmm. took to move that. Point one inch. Yeah, oh, I got you. Okay. Wish we had a little more room here. Mm -hmm. but anyway, you slip on your new belt yeah. and uh, okay. we'll get the grease gun. I got a switch to put in this exhaust fan up here. Okay.